Hello everyone, welcome back to Nutrition Bites for week four. So today we are going to talk about plant power bowls and these are just absolutely one of my favorite meals to make because they can be so versatile and great for meal prepping. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll talk about the specific rest, uh, ingredients in this recipe. Then we'll talk about what a balanced bowl means. Uh, then I'll show you a plant power bowl blueprint for creating your own. I'll mention a few things about silken tofu, and then we'll talk a little bit about the benefits of cruciferous veggies, and lastly, tips for buying grocery store dressings, and then the weekly challenge. So this um, session has a lot of uh, good information, so I hope you learn something new today. Okay, so here's the recipe that I like to make for plant power bowls. Now, don't worry, this looks like a really long list, but it's just because I packed in the vegetables and packed in the spices. So if you don't have a certain spice or a certain vegetable on hand, don't stress it, just use what you have or what you enjoy. Um, so this can be as simple or as complex as you wanna make it. And then the recipe for the sauce is there at the bottom. And I just blend that in the blender um, and I will link the full recipe in the article. So you'll see the directions there. Okay, so eating bowls like this are great meals because they include all three macronutrients. So when it comes to nutrition, we talk about three macronutrients in our diet. And these are three nutrients that need to make up the bulk of the calories that we're eating. And this includes carbohydrates, fats, and protein. So we need to incorporate these every day, ideally in each meal to help us get all the nutrients we need and also help us be full and satiated. So eating a bowl like this has great carbohydrates, including starchy vegetables, whole grains, and fiber. Uh, it also has healthy fats, and in this case specifically from the avocado, the silken tofu in the dressing, and the tahini. And then it's packed with plant proteins, um, especially from the chickpeas and the tofu. So it has all three of those macronutrients in it and is a really great way to get a variety of nutrition in your diet. Okay, so here is a blueprint on how to make your own plant power bowl. Uh, this great graphic comes from Forks Over Knives, and it basically has five steps to be able to build your own bowl with whatever ingredients you have on hand. So if the recipe that I included here just doesn't speak to you, go ahead and try making your own using these directions. So step one, choose a grain base. That could be um, brown rice, it could be quinoa, whatever sounds good to you. Ideally something whole grain. Uh, so then step two would be to pile on the veggies. And this is where you can be as creative as you want. You can do raw veggies, you can do roasted veggies, steamed veggies, um, however you want to do it. Uh, and then step three is add legumes. And so this helps get you that little protein boost. Step four, sprinkle with a crunch. So adding nuts or seeds, uh, things like that on top. And then step five, drizzle with a sauce. And this is where you can really make it have a specific flavor or taste like a specific cuisine. If you're gonna do a Mexican style bowl, you could do a salsa. If you're going to do a Mediterranean style bowl, you could do like a lemon tahini dressing. So many possibilities. So this is kind of just the blueprint for creating your own bowl. Okay, so I just wanna say a quick word about silken tofu. So silken tofu is the main ingredient in the sauce recipe um, that I've shared. And silken tofu is a great uh, ingredient to just keep on hand. It is a soft Japanese style tofu. And it's usually found in the international or the world food section of the grocery store. Uh, sometimes, if you do buy it there, it is shelf stable. Sometimes you can find it in the refrigerated section with the regular tofu. Um, and that one will probably be a little less shelf stable. So just make sure you're checking. But silken tofu is great for making vegan sauces, dressings, and even yogurt, which I shared a couple sessions ago. Uh, so tofu in general is a really great source of plant protein, fat, iron, and then phytochemicals, which are basically compounds only found in plants that are super protective. Uh, so tofu specifically has isoflavones and sterols, which are really important for our health. All right, so briefly, let's talk about the benefits of cruciferous veggies. Uh, the recipe that I shared has 
tons of cruciferous veggies. It has broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. Uh, you could add all sorts in here. Um, so cruciferous vegetables are a great source of both soluble and insoluble fiber. They're rich in vitamins like folate and vitamin K. Basically, they are low in calories, but super high in nutrients. And back to the idea of phytochemicals, they contain a phytochemical known as ITC, which is known for its anti-cancer properties. So the cruciferous family includes broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and kale. So I like to try to include at least one of these in every bowl meal that I make. Okay, so while I did share a recipe for homemade dressing, I do know that sometimes life is just too busy and you simply can't make your own dressings. So I wanted to share a few tips on how to buy one at the store while still keeping uh, your own health and making a healthy choice. So here are a few tips. First is to look for a, uh, a dressing that has a very short ingredient list with words that you recognize. Um, this will help to make it so it doesn't have a lot of preservatives or fillers. Um, and basically, it just helps to make it healthier overall. Uh, the second tip, if you are looking to choose a vinaigrette, I would take the light option uh, because in, in the light balsamic vinegars, water is usually the first ingredient instead of oil. So it will be less uh, calorically dense. Uh, third, I like to look for vegetable-based dressings, like ones that are made out of a cauliflower or a carrot base. Um, and then I also check the portion sizes because sometimes it'll say, you know, only 15 calories per serving, but then the serving size is really small, like one teaspoon, and you would use triple that or quadruple that on your salad. So just kind of be mindful of that. And these are a couple brand ideas for you here. Uh, Trader Joe's has some great uh, recipe or great dressing options. And these are found in the refrigerated section. The carrot ginger miso is one of my favorites. Um, some other ones that you will find at more of the chain grocery stores are going to be like Healthy Choice or uh, Simple Girl has some ones as well. So just some ideas for you. If you can't make your own dressings at home, definitely use these tips when you're going to the grocery store. But ultimately, there are so many options for making your own. And I'll also link a bunch of recipes from Forks Over Knives if you're interested in making your own dressings. All right, so we've come to the weekly challenge. So this week, I would like you to try to make a plant power bowl twice this week. And I'd love for you to just use whatever veggies and grains sound best to you. Whatever you have on hand, whatever preferences you have, go ahead and make something like that. And thank you all for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you all next time.